child y'all i'm looking crazy but i'm in the process of doing my makeup right now but i just really wanted to jump on really quick to share my unpopular opinion of what went down at the oscars last night today is monday march 28th and if you don't know what i'm talking about i am talking about will slapping chris rock okay i am team will baby make sure you drop it down in the comments let me know if you are team will or team chris and let me know why so many of us deal with disrespect you know especially as women me personally i've had my situations where i had to deal with disrespect and i know a lot of women that deal with disrespect from family members if you're married you deal with disrespect from your husband's family thank god that's not the case for me if your husband have other kids you deal with disrespect from the baby mamas you guys know you know how nasty things can get in those situations the reason why will situations just really resonated with me is because because recently I read his book and if you have not read that book will I highly highly recommend that you read that book that is one of my favorite books right now in the book will talks about how you know just growing up he was just never this confrontational person he's a peacemaker he's a lover not a fighter and for me to see him act the way he did was, you know, shocking. I'm sure it was shocking for the world because you never hear Will being in no drama, being in no mess. And so for him to, you know, just walk up and slap Chris like that, you're like, God damn, where this energy came from? Anyways, the reason why I brought that up because there are a lot of us, me included, who are just genuinely by nature, not confrontational people. And sometimes you find yourself in a situation to where someone disrespects you and, you know, your natural instinct isn't to just go off on that person because by nature, you know, for whatever reason, God made you, didn't make you that way. Sometimes, you know, you're, you're, you, you beat up on yourself for not being this confrontational person and just wishing that you would have handled the situation differently or you would have really let this person have it. And I know in Will's book, he talked about it a lot where, you know, there were a lot of instances where he felt like he should have acted one way and he didn't. I feel like people who let the universe handle people or you let God handle people, I feel like these type of people, these group of individuals are extremely blessed. By you just trusting God, trusting the universe to handle a person instead of you putting matters into your own hand, like your blessings come that way. If you look at Beyonce, like Beyonce don't strike me as one of those people that's just gonna go off on a bitch. Beyonce is extremely blessed and talented. She chooses to redirect her energy and focus her energy in other things. So I say all this to say, don't beat yourself up if you are not one of those people that, you know, find yourself in tough situations and you know what I'm saying? You're not one of those people that's just gonna cuss a bitch out or let a bitch have it you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day nine times out of ten you are probably a really 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 blessed person and you are really favored it's a reason why god didn't put that flight or fight mentality in you because I feel like a lot of people that do have that fight or flight mentality, they miss out on a lot of blessings. They close a lot of doors because of the energy that they put out into, you, in, into the universe. And whatever you put out into the universe, that's what comes back to you. Now, I'm not saying like, okay, you need to live your life being a bitch or being a pussy. No, I'm not saying that. Obviously, if you're dealing with blatant disrespect, like to your face, you know, such as like Will, like he was front row, like he felt like th that disrespect to his face, then obviously you need to handle yourself accordingly but most of us we don't deal with disrespect to our face like most of us bitches is really not about that life they're not really disrespecting you to your face like for real let's be for real they really not you deal with inadvertent disrespect you know what i'm saying like you know they want to text you or whatever text you craziness or text nonsense or text you know somebody that you may know you know craziness about you that's the disrespect i'm talking about and I just say, y'all, just, just let the universe handle them. Like, for real. Like, it is not worth your energy. And it is not worth your time and effort. And not only that, it's how you respond 
will determine, you know, your future. It will determine, you know what I'm saying, the energy that you set in motion. It will determine, you know, who you will become. It's just how you respond. Your response to situations determines your existence. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I said, I know it's a lot of us out there that, you know, find ourselves in, you know, certain situations where we want to go off on people and we want to cuss people out or we want to beat their ass. But at the same time, just understand that whatever energy that you put in out there, that's what you get back. So, you know, Will, I'm sure he's not sorry for punching on um, Chris Rock because he never said he, he did. He never said he was, but I'm sure he's sorry for the way he reacted in that situation. And I'm sure him reacting like that did not make him feel better. Because me personally, I know a lot of people who have that flight or fight mentality. And I asked them, I asked, if I know you, I'm gonna ask questions. You know what I'm saying? That's just who I am. I'm just a very inquisitive person. But I asked them, like, did you feel better after you fought this girl? Did you feel better after you said what you said? And 99% of the time, they did it. So you put all that energy into the universe for what? And you see with Will, like I said, he wasn't sorry for he wasn't sorry, I, he never said he was sorry for punching Chris Rock, but he was sorry for, you know, to his, to his, you know, fellow castmates, to the Williams family, to the movie producers and everyone who was a part of the project, he was sorry to them. So was that punch really worth feeling how he felt afterwards? Probably not, probably not. You know, that is something that could have easily been you know, resolved on a conversation or a interview, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm still team Will, baby. I am still team Will, you know, but at the end of the day, he's human. He just had a vulnerable moment or whatever like that. I'm grateful for it, for the situation. You know what I'm saying? In a sense that it allowed me to make this video for y'all. It allowed me to just pretty much share my thoughts, especially for, you know, my fellow women who are just not confrontational, but you deal with disrespect and sometimes you beat yourself up for not handling it the way you feel like you should have handled it or the way another person would have. And just know that God made you the, the way you are for a reason. And not only that, if you're dealing with disrespect, that means you're doing something right in your life usually people don't attack people that don't have nothing going on in their life if you want them people that just sit and don't nobody come for you don't nobody be messing with you don't nobody got nothing bad to say about you then you might want to re-evaluate rethink how you moving around in this world but if you want of those people that just you know you get that unwarranted unasked for disrespect people be coming for you or whatever like that they feel like they got a check you or whatever the case may be just a whole bunch of bullshit or whatever and you get that coming away then baby girl you are doing something right okay just keep doing you keep doing you and just let the universe deal with those people because baby best believe the universe is dealing with them with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup i just really wanted to jump on and just share my unpopular opinion of what happened at the oscars last night thank you guys so much for watching i got some other videos coming out this week i'm actually about to start recording um another video but in the meantime subscribe to this channel and also hit that bell notification so that you don't miss another video from me ciao